Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. Forsake me not, O Lord. My God, be not far from me. Make haste and come to my help, O Lord, my strong salvation. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, in this Eucharistic celebration, we are reminded by our Lord Jesus Christ that every moment can be an opportunity for mission, an opportunity to serve. And so as we begin this celebration, let us first acknowledge our sins and humbly ask Him for pardon and strength. Have mercy on us, O Lord, for we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy and grant us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Keep your family, O Lord, schooled always in good works, and so comfort them with your protection here as to lead them graciously to gifts on high. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. 
A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. The people of Judah and the citizens of Jerusalem said, Come, let us contrive a plot against Jeremiah. It will not mean the loss of instruction from the priests, nor of counsel from the wise, nor of messages from the prophets. And so, let us destroy him by his own tongue. Let us carefully note his every word. Heed me, O Lord, and listen to what my adversaries say. Must good be repaid with evil, that they should dig a pit to take my life? Remember that I stood before you to speak in their behalf, to turn away your wrath from them. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Save me, O Lord, in your kindness. Save me, O Lord, in your kindness. You will free me from the snare they set for me, for you are my refuge. Into your hands I commend my spirit. You will redeem me, O Lord, O faithful God. Save me, O Lord, in your kindness. I hear the whispers of the crowd that frighten me from every side as they consult together against me, plotting to take my life. Save me, O Lord, in your kindness. But my trust is in you, O Lord. I say, you are my God. In your hands is my destiny. Rescue me from the clutches of my enemies and my persecutors. Save me, O Lord, in your kindness. Please stand. Ang sabi ng kumahal sa daigdig, ako'y ilaw kapag ako ay sinuntahan. Ang dilim ay mapaparam at sa The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. As Jesus was going up to Jerusalem, He took the twelve disciples aside by themselves and said to them on the way, Behold, we are going up to Jerusalem. And the Son of Man will be handed over to the chief priests and the scribes, and they will condemn him to death and hand him over to the Gentiles to be mocked and scourged and crucified, and he will be raised on the third day. Then the mother of the sons of Zebedee approached Jesus with her sons and did him homage, wishing to ask him for something. He said to her, What do you wish? She answered him, Command that these two sons of mine sit, one at your right and the other at your left in the kingdom. Jesus said in reply, You do not know what you are asking. Can you drink the chalice that I am going to drink? They said to him, We can. He replied, my chalice you will indeed drink, but to sit at my right and at my left, this is not mine to give, but is for those for whom it has been prepared by my Father. When the ten heard this, they became indignant at the two brothers. But Jesus summoned them and said, You know that the rulers of the Gentiles lord it over them. And the great ones make their authority over them felt. But it shall not be so among you. Rather, whoever wishes to be great among you shall be your servant. Whoever wishes to be first among you shall be your slave. Just so the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve 
and to give his life as a ransom for many. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. The story in our first reading, the story of Jeremiah, tells us today of his, of the people who are what we call opportunistic. Narinig niyo na po ba yung salitang yan, no? Opportunistic. Bakit kaya yun ang tawag sa kanila, no? Because they saw an opportunity and they grabbed that opportunity. They saw an opportunity to kill Jeremiah. And so they immediately plotted against him. These are the people who are opportunistic. It has come with a negative connotation. When you see an opportunity, you grab it, so that you can have an advantage. And in our first reading today, we see the people, the citizens of Jerusalem, the people of Judah, trying to contrive a plot against Jeremiah. They saw an opportunity, they grabbed it, and they want to kill Jeremiah. That is also what happened in our gospel today. When Jesus was talking about his suffering, but he will be raised up on the third day, the mother of the sons of Zebedee saw an opportunity. And so she approached Jesus immediately and told him, please let my two sons sit at your left and your right in your kingdom. Wow, what an opportunistic moment for them. They saw a moment when they can seize the positions of power in the kingdom of Jesus. But Jesus wants to correct it and ask them, told them that what they were thinking was wrong. Instead of looking at an opportunity to grab power, Jesus asks them, look at an opportunity to serve. That is why Jesus was telling them, I wish that among you, the greatest shall be your servant because the son of man came not to be served but to serve jesus is teaching them that every moment is not an opportunity to be seized for power but every moment can be an opportunity for mission that is why, my dear brothers and sisters, this day, this morning, we would like to listen to Jesus, heed His message. Every moment can be an opportunity for mission. Whatever moment you are in right now, that is an opportunity for mission, an opportunity to say yes to God. To serve God. That is the opportunity that we want to grab. Not to be opportunistic, but an opportunity for mission. I remember when we were seminarians, <clears throat> our professor in scriptures was Bishop Broderick Pabilio, no? um, our apostolic administrator now in Manila. When I was a seminarian, he was my professor in scriptures. No? He is a scripture scholar, Bishop Pabilio. So he was my professor in scriptures. 
At alam naman po natin si Bishop Pabilio, he is a bit of an activist, no? So si Bishop Pabilio ay uh, parang aktivista ho ya, no? And he would attend rallies, no? Siguro naaalala niyo, no? He would attend rallies, no? even as a bishop to fight for human rights, to fight for social concerns. And so, when we were seminarians, we thought he will always be absent in class. No? Kasi lagi siyang nasa rally. No? So, nako, sabi namin, swerte natin dahil si Bishop Pabilio ay mahilig mag-rally. Kaya baka, no, baka uh, madalas ito absent sa klase. So, madalas walang klase. So, we were very happy. One day, it is reported in the news, we saw it live, that Bishop Pabilio is attending a rally and that was our class at the day of our class. So we were already seeing the opportunity to sleep the whole afternoon because we do not have class. But lo and behold, Bishop Pabilio called the secretary of the graduate school and he said, you tell my students to wait for me. <laughs> so after the rally, he went to class and for four hours, he was teaching us scriptures. You can see there the two opportunistic people, <laughs> the seminarians who were thinking to rest and just sleep. But I think Bishop Pabilio saw an opportunity not to be missed, the opportunity to teach, the opportunity to say yes to mission. He could have easily said, I am already tired from the rally, I will not hold class. But no, he said yes to serve Jesus. It was a moment for him to seize that opportunity this is my moment, my opportunity to give myself to mission. My dear brothers and sisters, I hope that every moment for us is an opportunity to mission. Every after Mass, we sing our mission song, we give our yes, we are wearing our mission crosses. Let those be reminders for us that every moment can be an opportunity to say yes to the mission of Jesus. Amen. Please stand. Mindful of the words of Jesus that the greatest is the one who serves, we now pray to God our Father for a true spirit of service among all peoples. For every petition, let us say, Lord, make us true servants. Lord, make us true servants that the leaders of the church may, may be true servants, acting with the same concern that Christ showed to his followers. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, make us true servants. That government leaders may exercise their power for the good of the people and avoid discord and distrust. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, make us true servants. That we may realize that success in God's eyes is not measured by the standards of the world, but by the respect we give to our neighbor. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, make us your true servants. That those who are sick may realize that their suffering endured in union with Christ can be turned into a great blessing. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, make us true servants. That the dead may reap the rewards of their earthly sufferings in eternal life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, make us true servants. Heavenly Father, help us to serve each other by imitating your Son, 
who laid down his life for us. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Look with favor, Lord, on the sacrificial gifts we offer you. And by this holy exchange, undo the bonds of our sins. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks lord holy father almighty and eternal god for you have given your children a sacred time for the renewing and purifying of their hearts that freed from disordered affections they may so deal with the things of this passing world as to hold rather to the things that eternally endure and so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end, we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, 
and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Broderick, our administrator, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son. Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. 
Lord, Lord I, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord our God, that what you have given us as the pledge of immortality may work for our eternal salvation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. We would like to invite everyone for our Wednesday evening of the Praying of the Healing Rosary for the World. Tonight at 9 p.m., we will be led uh, from the Archdiocesan Shrine of Nuestra Señora de la Caridad of Ilocosur. And we will be praying in front of their canon canonically crowned image of Nuestra Señora de la Caridad. And we thank the community of uh, the Archdiocesan Shrine in Ilocosur for saying yes to host our evening healing rosary for the world. And so once again, we invite everyone, all our families and friends to join us in our praying of the healing rosary at 9 p.m. tonight. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. Bestow upon your servants, O Lord, abundance of grace and protection. Grant health of mind and body. Grant fullness of fraternal charity. And make them always devoted to you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Give our hands.